Hi there, welcome back to It's Only Paper. It's my first journaling session of 2024, so welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be heading back into my December journal. How many of you are also December journaling at the moment? Got the last few days to finish up. I've got a really nice one to do today. Um, we went out on an adventure. First time leaving our house to properly go out since we've moved. And we had the kids with us as well because they were both home from uni. So it was a really special day. So I'm looking forward to documenting that in my journal. I think I'm going to be working on this page next. And the other thing we're going to be talking about today I've got 10 free things to share with you that I'll be using in my journal today. So I'm excited to share those with you. It doesn't have to be December journaling. You can use them on any type of journal. So if you're not working in your December journal or if you're watching this several months later and it's the summer, that's absolutely fine. You can still find these things and use them in any type of journaling or scrapbooking. So we'll be talking about those as we create. So I'm going to jump straight in um first item i've got here is do you remember i stuck this piece of um christmas card in here so with christmas card will be item number one but obviously any type of greetings card will work i've got this lovely card here first christmas in your new home i really really like that one um, from a really lovely friend of ours so i'm actually thinking about trimming this down I'm not precious about keeping cards as they are I'm quite happy to cut them um, and I would always much rather do that and actually use a card um, I think it's a nicer way this was from our lovely friends Paula and her family now I like that like that oh I could yeah i'm going to add it like that how about i cut this like that and i stick this down i'm needing to create some extra pages um i haven't i don't think i'm gonna quite have enough so let's pop that down there I'm going to stick this one on this side and then that can still, we can still then see the wording. Um, I like that. Now the day that I'm documenting today is a day that we went um, out with the kids, like I said. Um, we went into Froome and so I want to tell the story a little bit about that. My next item, item number three, is going to be an old envelope. I've covered up my address there, but this address envelope was so cute from my lovely friend Claire. So I'm going to use some of this. It was really sweet. So we're going to use the label and um, stamps as well. I know some of these items I have already used um, and that's absolutely fine. Um, I think I'm going to pop this up there. I'm going to do a little bit of layering, I think. I also want to um, cover the back of my photo here. Um, let's pop that in there. I'm going to cut out the stamps. I love festive stamps. But again, if you're doing this any time of year you can use stamps stamps i've got the envelope stamp should be another one that should actually be 11 items shouldn't it let's pop that one over here so yeah i think we're actually we've got a bonus one i think stamps are really fun to add so and um no i'm not going to add that to the back of the photo right the back of the photo which is Item number four then, because we've got the stamps, is a paper bag. This was actually from a bakery. Um, so I'm going to cut this down and add this. I love the fact that it's crushed as well. It gives a really lovely texture. And I am going to pop this on the back of my photo. 
For something I am going to do, I have left the serrated edge there showing. I haven't completely covered the photo. And then that way, again, it just adds another little bit of interest. Let's stick that down. But this will be perfect to add a little bit of journaling over. So um, let's add some green washi tape on this one. I'm going to pop this on here. And then what I like is that will flip up. I can do some journaling, but I've also got the to Lisa, Aid, Louis and Holly as well. I really like that. So I've got my friends writing and I think I will actually include. Oh, look at the inside of the card. I might actually save that for another page. And I'd like to quite include Paula's writing somewhere as well like this actually this is turning out to be it feels quite special I think that's the thing about a December journal it feels very special um right so we've got that item number five I've got a tag of some clothing and I'm actually going to pop this on the other side completely irrelevant but it's so cute and Aid loves Snoopy any tag sometimes clothing tags are really fun uh, this one's from Primark, but like I said, you can use it anywhere. Item number six is the gift wrap. Again, any time of year. This one is so cute with the little reindeers. So I'm going to cut out some of these to use as embellishments. I think this will look really cute. Um, let's put this on here, I think cut a few of these I like doing things in multiples so I cut a few of these do you receive gifts and cards and you look at the packaging you look at the gift wrap you look at an envelope and sometimes I can actually be more excited about how something is wrapped than actually receiving the item that sounds really sad doesn't it and my mind is instantly then working thinking oh how can I use that but, um, I can't be the only creative person that thinks like that. Let's have those on there. We saw some deer in the field the other day. They were so cute. There's just something so special about deer. That takes me to, have you seen the movie? Oh, what's it called? My mind's just gone blank. The one with Julia Roberts, Ethan Hawke and Kevin Bacon. Um, everyone's talking about it. Is it on Netflix? I can't remember. Um... But you'll know it if you've watched it the one and there's loads and loads of deer let me know if you've seen it and what you thought of the ending um for us it didn't feel finished so um yeah i'd be intrigued to hear what you think so we've got these um i've also got some tissue paper here number seven item number seven isn't this beautiful oh i tell you what we could do we could actually pop some of the tissue paper up here I think this was from a gift from mother-in-law it's so pretty um, I knew instantly I'd be using this on my journal that's for sure let's pop it up like that and I think I will tear the rest the great thing about tissue paper is it really doesn't have to be perfect I think sometimes it actually looks better when it's got a nice tear in it. Let's stick those pieces down. Might add some more photos actually. Oh, I like the way the tissue paper there is sort of like peeping out from the side. Let's add a little bit more. down the side here there, like that and I might actually put just a little bit in the corner there as well just so it looks like it all belongs I have actually kept a decent amount of gift wrap and tissue paper and things like that to use. I just can't throw it away 
I think that's the problem when you're a crafter, <laughs> how you accumulate so much stuff because there's always a use for something, isn't there? Right, I'm losing count. What are we on to? Um, item number eight. Um, I've actually picked up a business card, but I'm going to use that on the following day. But pick up business cards. Quite often you see them in shops, restaurants, especially restaurants. Pick them up. And I've got the receipt to go with that as well. So that was item number nine. Am I losing count? So I've got the receipt to go with both of those, but I think that's going to be on the following day. I've also got another gift bag here um, that came with some packaging. One of my other favourite items I have got, I've been collecting these. I think we're on 10, aren't we? Um, tab tops. These are from toothpaste. That's from a box of chocolates. I always keep these. Right. Let's grab my stapler. And we are going to pop this one on here as a tab top. Have a look at packaging when you see these because they're really handy to add. I, I always keep the toothpaste ones now. Oh, I've run out of staples. There we go. I've just stapled that one on. And I might actually create a little pulley out bit. Oh, I didn't staple that on very well, did I? Let's try that again. There we go. Um... Oh, actually, I might use this. Let's cut this out. That's a really good idea. Let's pop that. Right, I am liking this. So I am going to use part of the bag. Make sure it fits in. And I'm going to tear the top of the bag. Get in croissant crumbs over my desk. Maybe I should have emptied it beforehand. Might have been an idea. And I am going to stick this in like this. I think this is going to work. And then this can then pull out of there. I like this idea. Um, yeah, that's, a, and that's obviously from the card. Let's round the corners. I think that will look nice. I do love my rounded corner punch. There we go. Um, I think I might need to just trim this down a little bit more but um it's also really nice when something means something to you as well so this bag had a little story to go with it it was something that holly bought for us so it feels extra special and then that can sit in like that i like that there so now what i'm going to do is take more of that tissue paper I'm going to make this look like it belongs, I think. And we're going to stick that on there. That looks quite pretty then, that side too. And where are those tab tops? Here they are. And I'm just going to pop one of those there so it's a little tab i think that looks really cute and then we can write in there that will sit in like that we'll add a little bit more tape let's add a little bit of um washi that will make it look pretty along the end i want to know all the bits and pieces that you've kept have you had some really good gifts with some packaging um i always Keep and reuse gift bags as well. Um, they're always super handy. I never write on a tag label in hope that other people will reuse them as well. Um, but I always keep mine. And um, 
boxes, any really nice gift boxes as well, any ribbon, anything like that. Um, I hoard. Let's pop that on there. Let's try and lower it down just a little bit. That's better. And then that can pop up like that. And then that can pull out. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. That's come out really well. And I have one more item that I have kept. And that is from a box of chocolates. I did actually think this would make a really nice cover. I love cherry liqueurs. I really love them. Um, but look at the cherries that they come with. I thought this was so cool. So I was actually going to use this as a page as well. I really love that. Look at that texture inside. It's so cool. So, um, I am going to pop that there and that's going to be another page. So have a look at boxes of chocolates, boxes of biscuits, anything like that. Um, they make really, really handy. Oh, I'm going to pop one of these on here. Make really handy pieces for your journals. Let's use a stapler that side as well. There we go. I'm so happy with this. I just love how it's really starting to take shape now. Right, we've got some more photos to add. So we went in the cutest bakery. Um, we just happened to walk past it. Holly had read about it online and it was actually inside a church. It was a disused church that was used in such a lovely way for the community. It was big, it was open. Um, they sold amazing bakery items, pizzas, breads, cakes, but it was for the whole community. There was a play area. It was so beautifully done. There was hot food served as well. Um, yeah, that was a really lovely find. I want to go back and vlog there. Um, there's so many nice places that we found. Um, so yeah, that was really exciting. And we bought some really nice treats to take home because um, we'd already eaten, we'd gone to another really nice place for lunch actually, somewhere else that Holly found online. Um, I let her do the research, she likes to do that. So we went to her choices, had a really nice lunch, and then we found the bakery place. So we bought some really nice bread and a cake each for, to take home for supper. Um, but yeah, there's so many places that we've seen that we want to go back to again. I did um Aid and I have filmed there we went on our own first adventure out since moving um I'll have a journal there and pop that there I think um and I'm looking forward to um sharing that video with you so that's coming up this weekend let's add this tab as well on here I like that that says press here to open as well that was on the toothpaste I think that's rather cool I just love adding things that most other people would throw away. So yeah, we went to those places um, and these two photos to add as well. Where shall I add these? Journaling's going on there. Let's pop these on here, I think. And then we went to a tap house. Holly loves her tap houses. Um, she's really into her IPAs. We, however, aren't. Um, anyone else love an IPA? I don't get it, they taste horrible to me. Really yucky. Every time she has one, she's, she'll ask me to try it and say, oh, you'll like this one. There's just such a sourness to them that I just can't enjoy. They're just, they just taste so sour. So um, as we were in Somerset, Aidan and I had um, a cider and that was really nice we like cider so we had that instead and Louis had nothing that time <laughs> he wasn't playing ball that day it wasn't his thing right I think I'm ready to get some journaling on this page and then I can think about afterwards um what else I want to add I kind of find that um I do the majority of the work 
add the journaling and then see what needs to be added afterwards. I want to try and get this double-sided tape bit up because this washi is not going to stay down. Right, done my journaling. I'm actually going to separate this. I really love that texture. I might even keep that. Oh, that's something I might do. Right, I'm going to add some of this down here just for no reason at all, just because I think it looks really nice. The colours are good and I love a cherry at Christmas. Oh, I tell you what, this would be good. I'm going to keep some of this. My brother made a black forest gatto on Boxing Day. I'm going to keep some of that for that. That will work so well. Let's put the cherry on there as well because we love a bit of layering. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I'm actually wondering, I might even keep that for the day when I do the black forest gatto paint this and use that as a stencil or not a stencil as um like a stamp i think i might wait and do that i've also got another piece I, this was from the robin was from this christmas card and i've still got this little bit here so i'm going to fussy cut this um have you kept your christmas cards to use um, I never feel guilty about doing this at all. I think it's such a nice way to preserve and use Christmas cards. Um, I'm going to pop this. If you can hear any noise, excuse me. We've got Louis just turned up from uni with three of his housemates and they're filming something for a uni assignment. So they've just arrived. And they're about to start filming there. That looks really pretty. I want something else. Oh, I tell you what else I had an idea. I want to pop the word from on there. From sorry, on there. Got every colour but the colour I want. Um, I'm gonna use these grey ones, but sharpie them over in green to spell out the word from. I could never remember how to pronounce this, whether it was from or from. And I asked somebody and they said to remember the word room. I also got told that it used to have two M's and somewhere, something important, they missed off one of the O's. I can't remember what on. And from then on it be, they dropped the extra O. I haven't got an E. Oh, that is so annoying. There's never enough E's. Right, we're going to have to improvise somehow. Let's see how this looks anyway. But in case you haven't been, it's only a little place. Very cute. Um, it's in Somerset. We got the train there, um, which was quite nice. So we could have some cider. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really cute. Um, and we would definitely go back again. In fact, like I said, we've been back since. And uh, we'd like to go back again. Right, how can I do this E? Right, I found another set. Slightly different grey, but they're all simple stories. I might need to add some glue on the back. They're not sticking so well. We'll see how that goes. But... Um, I like that and I want to add a few others. Oh, what have I got here? I'll tell you what else I've got. I've just found I've got this Christmas set that was sent to me by Paper Maze. I'll do this bit as an ad gifted. Um, family all around, that's what I was after. Something to do with family. Um, Let's have a remember up there. I'd forgotten all about these. Got a few fun little stickers to add. And with that, I have finally finished this page. This is another super fast one. Um, and we had 11 free things, like I said, that you can find any time of year. I just happen to have used this on my December journal, but you can use them on any journals. 
Um, I'm really pleased with this. It's super, super cute. Got my journaling there on the back of the robin. And then we've got this little bit and we've got the bit that pulls out. Excuse the sun coming through. And I've just left that as it is. Um, I quite like the wording there. I thought that was really special. And then this flips over. More journaling that side. This flips up. It's a very interactive page, isn't it? Our family photo. And there. And I think that's really cute, ready for the next page. I am so happy with that. It's been a really lovely journaling session and I've kept some memories from a really special day. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know which free items you'll be using on your journal next or which things you've collected over the Christmas period or any other time, depending on obviously when you're watching this, I'd love to hear. Leave your comments below. Leave your freebie items that you love to pick up. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.